kitty. Oh my goodness. Stop petting the cats. No rabies? It's it's gonna have rabies, man. It's gonna have rabies. So we just arrived in Ubon and we're now staying at a motel for the the remainder of our stay here. It's gonna be pretty pretty dope. It's actually cheaper than staying at the YWAM base. That's kind of why we're staying here. So this morning, we're just gonna go breakfast shopping, find some good breakfast to eat um, because it is nine in the morning. So we took an overnight bus trip here to Ubon. And yeah, that's where we're at. So now I just need to find the boys. Found them. Oh my goodness, stop petting the cats. No rabies? It's it's gonna have rabies, man. He's just a friend. Look at him. It was a good time. Always gonna die. First impressions of Ubon. Oh, so nice. I freaking. This is better. nicer than Bangkok. Way better than Bangkok. Yeah. It it's does not, not as, feel as smoggy. It's yeah. not as smoggy. It's the not very so clear. The smell's not there. Oh, there's a white guy in the wild. Tesco Lotus. Is Tesco like an American thing? This is weird. This feels more like all the stuff written in Thai and wrote in English. This yeah. would be Australian. Something like that. Whoa. So far, I'm liking Ubon. What are we looking for, Matt? All the food is down this way. Bread, jam, butter. Oh, this is so... I feel like I'm walking through coals right now. So, we just finished orientation here in Ubon. And I gotta run back to the vans real quick because we're leaving on a city tour. I figure we need to see the sights of Ubon because we didn't we really see Bangkok. The... What are you talking yeah, about? We went all over. Yeah, we took but the vlog the didn't bus, see Bangkok. The train, right? Camels, like we got all the way. This is what's important. The vlog yeah, the vlog is important. Okay, you'll hey, have a lot of time to watch. Hey, Cass. Should you tell them what happened? I've been bedridden for the past two days we've been here. Okay. I'm missing my vlogging partner. So is this still like I've me. been resorting to and live a little bit. You replaced me on I am you. All right, Cassidy, let's go. Okay, I'm going to the okay. hospital. You're going to the hospital. Yeah, see you soon. Let me start the montage? Yeah. Go. So it's Friday in Thailand, mm -hmm. and for the past couple of days I haven't really vlogged anything. I just wanted to actually do some ministry and got the hang of things before I brought the camera into it all, because it's kind of, yeah, it's weird. But we should turn around like this. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so like that, that you can see the oncoming monsoon. So what did we do the first day? So we walked around, I yep. got footage of that. We, yep. we walked and we saw all of the temples. We just walked through the temples and kind of prayed for all the stuff that was going on there and just kind of praying against it. And then that evening, we just slept. Yeah, that was a good sleep. The that night was a before really we, good sleep. Yeah, we had like a, like a nine hour bus ride and they fed us the weirdest food. We had chicken burgers. <laughs> the burgers were like <laughs> vacuum sealed into a bag. Did you look at the patty? The patty was literally like just straight batter with tiny little bits of chicken breast in there. <laughs> so good. It actually wasn't that bad though. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty nice. I had three. <laughs> so the next day was... More orientation. Yeah, then yeah. Then we learnt Thai for like an hour and a half. Yep. Kop kum kap. Which means thank you. Then, um, kids ministry. Which was so much fun. We went to a little district in the slums of Ubon Ratchatani is where we're staying at the moment. Or as so, I like to call it, oobs. I shared the story of Daniel in the lion's den. And these guys actually went around and uh, prayed for some of the, the yeah. parents while so, we were doing a kids ministry. So tell us about that one old two, lady. There was, there was an old lady sitting down in uh, 
our team leader Fleur got a word of knowledge so she just felt this like idea in her head that she had back pain this lady and then she did and then we prayed for her and she got healed mm -hmm. um, then there was another man um, that a couple of us had gotten the image of before while we were praying uh, and to go and pray for him we went and prayed for him he got healed of some abdominal pain and then gave his life to Christ as well so yeah that was he became crazy. a Christian so <laughs> yeah. that was awesome yeah so that was like the that was like our first actual day of ministry yesterday we had disabled ministry in the morning yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we had disabled ministry in the morning which was just a lot of fun yeah uh, we shared the gospel a little bit did some of our dramas um, we will in a later vlog probably like show you what one of those dramas looks like Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta I think we should do the clincher. Yeah, clincher. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Then in the afternoon, we did a treasure hunt and that was cool. So basically a treasure hunt is when you just actually just all get together as a group and just kind of pray mm. and then just ask God to like reveal things to you like um, you know people that he wants you to go out and pray for basically you get down ideas green pants or something like that and then all of a sudden you go out and you're just like walking around and then you see a guy with green pants and you're like okay we should pray. go pray for that guy or or tell him about the gospel or something like that give him a word as as my group was praying there was this uh, we had a few different things one of them was green pants um, one of them was actually a left hand that may be may need to be healed and then um, another one was just an older older man uh, also also a spirit house so as we were walking we saw this temple and we're like whoa and then B who got the Im the image of the spirit house is like that's the exact spirit house that I saw so we walked into the temple area, already interesting, and we're just kind of walking around, just kind of praying for the place because we didn't see anyone there. And then we go and um, Erica, who is another person actually from YYMKC, um, shout out to them. And we will just, uh, yeah, and she saw this one man sitting there. So she brought Chet, who you'll be meeting a little bit later, over and they started talking to this guy and just kind of sharing the gospel with him or just building up a relationship with him and then uh, after after they kind of built up a relationship um, Chet kind of asked if like there was anything that he needed prayer for and something like that he actually said that his left hand needed prayer um, and so Chet was like okay I need to wait for the other people to get back we were standing outside of the front of this temple um, where Chet was praying with the or speaking with the guy on the other side so he saw us and ushered us over and so we go over there he's like this guy needs his left hand prayed for and we didn't really like think about it at the first moment yeah, yeah. Um, but as we're praying for this guy Cass is like this is his left hand as she's like holding his left hand and she's like holy crap like <laughs> this is weird and then after we were done praying we're like this guy is wearing green pants so like three things lined up all at the same time. I'll, I'll actually probably write a blog post about it. Mm. Um, we prayed for this guy's hand to be healed. Uh, he lost some pain in it, but it didn't like get yeah. healed. He had a, like a weird finger that was kind of like sticking up like that. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really, really cool to see uh, what God wanted to uh, to do with that whole situation. Yeah. Then in the evening, we handed out some food to the homeless around here. Got to pray for some people. A lady gave her life to Christ that night as well. Yeah, and um, we were out. We had like a separate little group from them, and we we came off and we prayed as well for images. We got the image of a lady or a man wearing a pure white T-shirt, like, and it was crazy that we found it to be a homeless person to be wearing this pure white T-shirt. And um, I got a word from God that she had pain in her hand, um, and then it turns out she had not only pain in her left wrist. Uh, but she had pain in her arm and we prayed for it and she totally got healed and wow. she also decided to follow Jesus so speaking of which I also have pain in my left wrist <laughs> <laughs> it's a little heavy at the moment and then this morning we did some prison ministry with some kids we got to share the clincher drama which I was actually super excited about yeah. I play Jesus and I get to just beat up Matt and it's like <laughs> the funnest thing ever uh, we have like a whole choreographed fight scene and it's does it look good? It looks it looks pretty good. You guys will have to yeah, see. Yeah. But now we were gonna go out to a field that um, the YWAM Umban base kind of owns, 
Uh, but as you can see, there's a monsoon kind of forming here. So we're not really doing anything for another hour and a half. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what's it. But I'm glad you could kind of catch up. There will be pictures on the blog, um, as well as on my website at postvisuals.com. So you can check out all the photos that I'm putting up from Thailand, like right away, um, which will be this Friday afternoon. But when you see this vlog, I don't know what it'll be. Tomorrow's our day off. We don't really know what we're doing. And then in the evening, we'll be actually uh, driving to, out to a village that we're gonna be ministering to for a couple days, which is gonna be really cool. And you're gonna see some really urban uh, Thailand which I'm so excited for. I think for now, we're just gonna spin to whatever's happening next because we're not really doing anything at the moment. So I'm just gonna spin. I usually spin this way, but you know what? I'm gonna spin that way. You Three, want two, one. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm uh. just, we're just gonna spin it. All right, whoa. Welcome back. We are now at a park. I'm back from um, the dead. In the heart of Uban. She's back from the dead. Hey, you have been back from the dead for a while. I just haven't vlogged. We were doing ministry stuff. Well, I'll, I'll be filming ministry next week, but this week I just wanted to take a chill pill and actually get into it. So what are we doing tonight? Tonight we are doing kind of like sports ministry with the people in the park. So we're gonna like, play basketball, or you're gonna try play basketball. We're just gonna do some local <laughs> ministry with some local Thai people. We meet at the temple at seven. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. It's uh, pretty big, it's yellow. Temple at seven, guys. Gonna get a What time is it? I just sat down to edit the vlog and then I realized that I haven't ended episode 10 yet. So I'm just gonna end it now. Tomorrow we're off to a village a couple hours from Ubon. So we're gonna go there tomorrow. But for now, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. So shalom and always remember to stay merry and have a good night. <laughs> right, Matt? Yes, sir. Have a great night. You know what? You go and have yourself a great night, sir, or ma'am, whichever you are. Yeah. <laughs>